Many of us dread the process of taking a flight, especially when it comes to all the time spent passing through the airport. At the same time, many of us are looking for new and interesting ways to travel using points. This includes flying on more exclusive and private options, which is why I think you'll find today's topic to be interesting. Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Ernest from Trip Astute. In this video, I'm gonna share how you can get a private jet-like experience through JetSuite X using your Chase Ultima reward points. The holiday season is here, so I know many of you are traveling or planning to travel to visit family and friends. If any of you have been watching the HBO show Succession, you've probably been intrigued by private jets and helicopters. At least I know I have. But for many of us, the thought of traveling like the Roy's seems far too expensive and unattainable. So I was a bit excited to find out that I might be able to get a similar experience and even better use points to pay for it. Before I discuss how, if you're new here, welcome to our channel. Tripasu is a travel channel that is focused on sharing ways to make travel easier, affordable, and more enjoyable. Traveling can be stressful and expensive, so we're looking for ways to help you maximize your experience through travel tips, points and miles, and innovative gear. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. Earlier this year, JetSuite X and JetBlue announced a partnership allowing travelers to book JetSuite X flights through JetBlue. If you're not familiar with JetSuite X, it's a private charter plane service that operates in select cities. As of this video, they mostly operate on West Coast and Southwest cities and generally are found in smaller airports. For example, in Los Angeles, they fly out of Burbank Airport, which is only four miles away from my apartment, which equates to about a 15 to 20 minute ride over. LAX, on the other hand, is about 24 miles away from me and can take one to two hours depending on the traffic. The main benefit of flying on a private charter plane is that you get to bypass most of the annoying aspects of airports. You'll depart from a private hangar and you don't have to go through all the normal TSA security checks and protocols. The airline promises less lines, less time waiting for your flight, and more legroom. In fact, they say that you only need to arrive 20 minutes before your flight to check in and pass their security. So it's not gonna be a complete private jet experience like you would see on Succession, Though with only 30 seats on board, two free check bags, and a complimentary cocktail, you're gonna be getting a more business class-like experience. The company also claims that their fleet will be getting high-speed Wi-Fi sometime in 2020. You can book directly through the JetSuite X website, JetBlue, or travel portals like Expedia. So if you're looking to book a flight with points, then you'll wanna check out the Chase Travel Portal. Because of the partnership, you'll notice that the flights are serviced by JetSuite X. This means that you can redeem your Chase Ultimate Award points at 1.25 or 1.5 cents per point, depending on which version of the Sapphire card you have. 1.25 or 1.5 cents isn't a fantastic redemption rate, but it's not horrible either. In fact, 1.5 cents is the minimum rate that I will redeem Chase Ultimate Award points since I have the Sapphire Reserve. Some of you might be asking, what about American Express membership reward points? Aren't they a travel partner with JetBlue as well? The answer is yes. However, even though you can transfer American Express membership rewards and chase ultimate reward points to JetBlue, they won't let you book these partner flights with points. So the only option for booking with points is to use a travel portal. That may change in the future, but for now, using Chase Ultimate Reward Points is the better option. You can use the American Express travel portal as well, but your redemption rate will only be one cent per point. Now you might be wondering, is it worth it? I think it depends on what you want from your travel. For example, I probably would still opt to fly on a budget carrier for a short flight, but that's only because I would rather save points toward more travel. For most things in life, I'm usually more inclined to pick quality over quantity, but for airline flights, I wanna travel more and further. I'll occasionally splurge on business class tickets, but it's mostly for longer flights where I can sleep on the plane. However, if you're saving two hours or more per flight by using JetSuite X, then it might be worth the extra cost. Also, it's worth pointing out that the ticket prices are reasonable. I expected the cash price to be much higher for these tickets. For example, if I were to fly from Burbank to Oakland in the middle of January, the round trip flight came out to around $200. The same flight on Southwest booked today would be around $150. And when I compare the cost of my last flight to Oakland for work, it was around $250. So it seems within range and not completely outrageous, especially when you consider the perks and time savings. Though one concern you might have with booking a Jet Suite X flight for work is the perception that can be associated with it. For example, most companies have a policy of no business class for shorter flights. 
However, keep in mind that you can book through JetBlue, so it won't seem as obvious and still list the flight as economy class. I feel like someone would have to be paying special attention to notice that the flight is actually a JetSuite X flight. Lastly, I wanted to share a couple of tips to keep in mind if you're planning to book a flight on JetSuite X. Number one, research logistics on where to check in. Since you're not going through the normal terminals at the airport for JetSuite X flights, you want to look up where you need to go. Also, it helps to see what parking and rental car options are available. Most of this information can be found on the JetSuite X website under the Where We Fly tab. One thing that I think could be confusing is getting from a rental car drop-off lot to the JetSuite X hangar. Depending on the airport, you might be able to find a shuttle, but you'll likely need to factor in a Uber or Lyft ride over. Number two, consider using a service like Freebird. One of the biggest risks of flying a smaller airline operator is the limited number of flights per day in the event that your booking is canceled or delayed. In fact, when I looked at reviews for JetSuite X on TripAdvisor, most of the complaints were focused on canceled flights and having to rebook on another airline at a higher price. That's where a service like Freebird can be handy. For less than $20 per flight, you can get rebooked with no additional fees as soon as you find out that your flight is canceled or delayed for over four hours. For more information, check out our video on Freebird. It might add some peace of mind in case you're concerned about delays or cancellations. Number three, consider booking through the Blackbird Air app. I've been meaning to do a video on the Blackbird Air app. It's basically like Uber for private jets and planes. You can use it to get matched up with a commercial pilot who can provide a more personalized and private flight experience for your travel itinerary. Blackbird Air allows you to book flights on JetSuite X as well, so you can often find promo codes and discounts for using the app, especially if you're a new user. Just do a search for Blackbird Air promo code and you'll find a bunch of discount codes out there. It might be a good way to try out the service without using your precious points. And finally, number four, manage your expectations. I know I was joking earlier about flying like the Roy's from Succession. Despite it being a smaller jet, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a private luxury experience. With 30 seats on the plane, you'll likely be sharing the flight with others, so make sure you manage your expectations. You might not be lounging in a cushy sofa drinking champagne at 35,000 feet, but you'll still be getting a more comfortable experience than you would from most commercial airlines. Have you flown on JetSuite X? If so, what's been your experience? If I get a chance to try it out on a future trip, I'll do a video on the trip and what the end-to-end -end experience is like. If you're interested in applying for a Chase Sapphire card or any other card for that matter, we would love it if you use our link in the video description or on our website. It's an easy way to support our channel, especially if you found our content to be valuable and helpful. Also, if you need any help with picking the right credit card or developing a credit card strategy, sign up for our free card consultation service. You'll basically fill out a questionnaire and schedule a 15 minute video or audio call with me to review a recommendation. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, please give us a thumbs up and consider sharing the video with others. As always, we appreciate you checking out our channel and video. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.